Hello everyone, my name is Manish and in this video I am going to tell you the difference between the MDM user scope and MAM user scope. So as a part of the Intune learning, you need to understand that what exactly is the difference. So this is what I am going to cover. So this video is going to cover a few topics uh, that what is MDM user scope, what is MAM user scope and the difference between the both the scopes, uh, MDM and MAM. Okay, and the fourth point is that uh, when to enable the MDM user scope and MAM user scope and what exactly will be the requirement. So in a nutshell, if I have to tell you about the what exactly is the MDM and uh, MAM user scope. So MDM is meant for the device management for your corporate device where the devices will be enrolled and uh, your corporate will be uh, having the organization will be having the complete control on the device. While MAM is for the mobile application management which is usually for your uh, being your own devices where you, the application management of uh, the uh, devices can be done. So it is not enrolled. But yes, we have an option to enroll the bring your, your own device. But that's not what we are looking after. I'm going to explain you in detail once we go through it. So now let's come to the very first topic that what is MDM user scope. So when we go to the uh, endpoint that uh, MEM admin center, uh, devices, enrolled devices and Windows enrollment, you will be able to see the MDM user scope which has an option to set all, some and none. So uh, once you set it to all, it means you are enabling it and user scope for all the users and some for means specific group. So what exactly is the MDM user scope? When you enable the MDM user scope, actually you are automatically enabling the devices to enroll into Windows Intune. So that the device will be completely managed by your organization. Uh, this MDM user scope, uh, scope is specifically meant for the corporate owned devices. So these devices, when I say the corporate owned devices means the devices which are joined to Azure Ready or uh, I would say that hybrid Azure Ready join. So both are treated like a corporate device. And uh, uh, you can verify your own device if you go to the start settings, access work or school, you can see the briefcase icon. If you see that briefcase icon, it means that your device is enrolled into Intune. I will be telling you more in detail that how to verify there are few other things also to verify to thoroughly verify the enrollment status. Let's go to the next page. Now I'm going to tell you about the MAM user scope. MAM user scope is also the setting we are you're going to see in the in enrolled devices windows enrollment status. So MAM stands for mobile application management where you are just managing the applications. We are not talking about enrolling the device. So it's all about the your device where you have your personal your personal device and you also wanted to have the companies organizations uh, applications such as office digify microsoft teams so if you wanted to use both then how you're going to manage you will be having a work profile and your personal profile and those profiles will be kept separately your work profile related content will be encrypted so that uh, the you are not accidentally going to copy the content from the your work profile to the person profile. So when I'm talking about the MAM means it's a mobile application management. It is meant for the BYOD devices, bring your own devices so that you can have your person, uh, the separate work profile. Uh, as I told you, accidentally copying of uh, content data from work profile to person profile can be done by implementing the policies. We also call this uh, as a MAM WE. So it means mobile access application management without enrollment. But as I told you earlier that it doesn't mean that MAM user scope means uh, you, it is not, not going to enroll. So it, is, it has a setting that where we can enroll the device into the uh, Intune, but that's not what we are looking for the bring your own devices. So that there is a multiple combination of settings between MDM user scope and MAM user scope will be, which will going to control all the features. So, yeah, this is what I was telling you, the final point, the bring your own devices can be enrolled also, but we should not be following this strategy because we don't want the personal devices to be managed by the organization. So when it is not enrolled, I'm talking about the man we uh, enrollment, without enrollment, so it means that the organization is not going to touch your personal profile, they won't be able to see what exactly is there on your device. So they don't have any control on your device if it is not enrolled. And uh, uh, you can verify the MAM uh, that status through Access Work or School. So this is also called a workplace join. If you see the Windows icon, it means 
it is workplace join so one of the example of uh, the workplace join is your uh, device having uh, office 65 you are just using office uh, uh, 365 or teams and this is it is going to use for your single sign on thing so that you are able to use your applications without logging on the providing password again and again okay so now i'm going to talk about that what if corporate and personal uh, devices both are part of the same scope so let me provide you the clarity that what exactly i mean to say that when mdm user scope and the mam user scope both are enabled what will happen so for corporate device mdm user scope will always takes the precedence and for windows byod devices bring your own devices mam user scope will take the precedence it might be looking confusing but i am going to explain you further okay now this is the ripple which i have created let's go with the first option that when mdm user scope and mam user scope both are enabled now what will be the behavior the corporate device as you see showing as yes so for corporate device as it, it is azure ad joined it will be treated as corporate own so mdm user scope is going to be taking the precedence so it means it is going to enroll the device because mdm is meant for the enrolling the device and for azure ad registered device means i am talking about the uh, workplace join your byod device mam will take the precedence so as i told you mam is meant for just mobile application management so it is not going to enroll the device so the status is showing us no second is that when mdm user scope is set to yes and mam user scope is set to, uh, set to none so in this case yes again i can see the uh, mdm user scope as because i have a user scope the corporate device will be enrolled and also your personal device is going to be enrolled because now your mam user scope is set to none and mdm user scope will kick in because you haven't specified anything to the mam user scope but that's the thing which we need to completely avoid that mdm, MDM user scope is yes and mam user scope is none if it is a special case then you can do it but definitely i don't think about any special case where we want that we, where we actually need any kind of control on the personal device to be enrolled so just make sure that the second setting is not we are looking, looking after. Uh, briefcase icon and the windows icon. This is the easiest way to verify whether the device is, is enrolled or it is workplace join. That's it. So now let's uh, have a demo. I'm just going to show you the, the various behavior with the MD user scope and man user scope. It's a combination of things which I'm going to show you. I have logged into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Uh, go to devices, enroll devices, and automatic enrollment. So the very first setting is that MDM user scope I have set to all and MAM user scope all. So both are set to all. Let's see what will be the behavior. This is my Windows 10 device. Let's go to start settings, accounts, access work or school. And I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now I'm going to do the workplace join. So for workplace join, I have to uh, write down the email address with the user ID. Uh, we are not going to check uh, select this option because if I am going to click select the option join this device to Azure Active Directory, I'm actually going to join the Azure Active Directory, so it will be enrolled. Not I'm looking for the workplace join only. password and here we guess you can see that the configuration has been done we are able to see the windows icon and if i click on info i can see it's showing as areas managed by the md the probe account and if you scroll down i can see for the settings so let's see and uh, verify a few other things go to the command prompt run the desk cmd slash status so i can say the configuration has been done it's showing as azure ready joined as no yep that's what we were expecting and if you look over here 
that workplace account that my work account has been set up the configuration has been done and it has only enrolled to the MAM the indication I can see over here is if I look for the management server address web.mam.manage so I'm going to show you the same thing for the Azure AD uh, joint device as well so that you can have a comparison I am on an another Windows 10 device so let's click on connect under access work or school Okay, I'm not going to provide the email address over here because I'm not looking for Azure AD registered device. I am looking for the Azure AD joint. So let's click on join this device to Azure Active Directory. Provide the credentials. And the password. Okay, now it is giving me the option the option that do you have to click on the join so once I click it is going to enroll the device okay so we are all set let's click on done now I can see the briefcase briefcase icon which is an indication of that it is enrolled into Intune click on info I can specifically see my organization name it is showing as managed by MB cloud training and the management server is showing as r.manage.microsoft not, it's not showing something related to MAM so it is showing as enrolled I can verify the same thing through console as well according to the Azure portal if I refresh I can see I have two devices the first one is registered in a, is showing as Azure ready registered but it is not enrolled in MDM means no, it is not enrolled in Intune MDM is showing as none the second one is Azure ready joint which I did that it's showing us Microsoft uh, Intune enroll. Okay, if I log into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, go to Home Devices Windows, I can see I am only able to see one device, which is Azure AD Joint. So this is what we were expecting, that because of MD Microscope taking the precedence for the Azure AD Joint, it has joined the Azure, and for the Azure AD Register, as both the options were selected as all MAM took the precedence and it didn't enroll to the Intune. So if I if I compare side by side for both the devices you can see on left hand side I can see it showing as managed by MB cloud training with r.manage.microsoft on right hand side it is showing as managed by MDD Pro account. So this MDD Pro account is specifically used for the MAM. So, because of the management server, it was also showing as web.mam.manage.microsoft. If I look over here on the Azure AD joint device, I am running this slash cmd slash status to check the status of this device. It will be giving me some different information. It is showing as Azure AD join as yes, and I cannot see anything related to the workplace thing. Right, so I am getting all the details for the tenant details as well. You can compare it over here for the Azure AD registered devices. So the information will not look same. I have work account over here. The work account is missing on the left hand side. So I can't see any tenant details on the Azure AD registered device. There is another way on the workplace join device to see whether it has joined to workplace join or not. So uh, I have to open the event here. Go to application, Microsoft, Windows. I'm looking for user device registration. Yeah, so I can see join type showing as five, which is a workplace join. That's it. So this is a confirmation of the workplace join through log through the event view logs. I'm going to show you the second scenario. Let's go to the home devices. Enroll devices, automatic enrollment, 
and this time I am clicking on MAM user scope is none. So the expected result is the Azure AD join device is again going to uh, enroll. Place join device. It is also going to enroll because we are uh, setting up the MAM user scope as none. So the MD user scope will, will kick in and it is going to enroll the device. Let's see. I have once again logged into the device where I am going to be going to do the workplace join means Azure AD registration. Click on connect. Let's provide the email address. In the password. So you are all set. I can click on done. My de device is able to do the workplace join. Again, it's showing as a window sign. If I click on uh, once again, click on uh, info, I can see the managed by MB cloud services. Now, this time you see the difference that even though it's showing as the window sign, the managed by cloud training means the uh, the organization name it is showing so it is not showing the man url uh, it's showing as r.manage so if i go to the event here let's see let me refresh the status once again it is only workplace join windows icon itself is confirming that even though it's showing as the windows sign my device the personal device bring your own device has been enroll into Intune. Let me do on the device where I wanted to be, do the Azure AD join. I am once again going to perform, perform the Azure AD join. Click on join this device to Azure Active Directory. Username. Password. Click on join. Okay, done. Click on done. I can see the briefcase icon. Click on info. Manage by the organization name. Let me show you the side by side comparison. Let me show you side by side comparison. Both are showing as managed by the organization name. Both are showing as management service address as r.manage.microsoft, r.manage.microsoft. But here we can see the icons are different. Workplace join versus, versus uh, Intune enrolled. If I go to the Azure portal, let me refresh. I can see. One is showing as Azure AD registered, the second one is showing as Azure AD join, but both are involved to Intune. The MDM authority is showing as Microsoft Intune. If I log into the Microsoft Admin Center, go to Windows, if I go to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, I can see both the devices, the personal device, which is workplace join, and the corporate device, both are showing. So let's see one difference over here. Let me show you the status for the personal device versus corporate device. If I go to the corporate device and click on the discovered apps, I can see list of all the applications. And for the personal device, I can see that nothing has been discovered. So it means even though the personal device is enrolled, uh, it is still not able to uh, manage it properly. We are not able to see that what applications are there. So personal things are still intact, but yes, it is enrolled that that's the bad thing which i would say so the mam user scope md user scope the combination of both the thing both the things how we have to use it so we have to be careful so i would recommend that the md user scope and mam user scope both should be enabled so that for the bring your own devices mam should be taking precedence and it should not get enrolled into intune thank you i hope you like the video and uh, i would really appreciate if you can subscribe and share it thank you so much